Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review and lip swatches on the new ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is what the packaging looks like. They're just little sticks of lipstick. They're called the ColourPop Lippy Sticks and I'm obsessed with them. Honestly, they're amazing. I'm also going to be talking about their lippy pencils. Yeah, their lippy pencils. I do have a couple of cons with this product, but overall I think they're amazing. I was going to do this video sometime last week. They were sent to me. I was asked to pick six of my favorite colors on the website and they sent me these six colors with their um, matching lippy pencil. So they sent me the lippy stick with the matching lippy pencil. I was asked to pick six, so I did. And I was going to post this video last week, but I loved them so much that I went on the website the next day and I bought five more with my own money. I bought five of them and that's how much I really like them. So you guys know that this is completely honest because I bought some more. I have 11 to talk about today and I'm going to be swatching them on the back of my hand and showing you lip swatches as well. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of ColourPop eyeshadows. If you haven't heard of the brand ColourPop, they are basically an online store and I think that they only ship to the US unfortunately. I'm not exactly sure but I think that they do and they sell amazing single eyeshadows and now lippy sticks and lippy pencils. Their individual eyeshadows are incredible. I will link my review down below where I swatch a bunch of their ColourPop eyeshadows if you're interested. But they're basically a very, very bold and loud company. All of their colors are so fun and amazing. They do have more natural muted down colors in their eyeshadows and in their lippy sticks, but they're just full of color and full of life. I love this brand. Okay, so let's talk packaging. This is what they look like. They just say ColourPop lippy sticks on the thing and on the bottom it gives you the color indication so you don't have to open them to check what color it is because it is on the bottom. They have the color here as well and then they just scroll up. They are a scrolly little thing and they're just little sticks. They're lipsticks in a little tube. So there are three different finishes from my knowledge. There are glossy finish, a satin finish, and a matte finish. The majority of the ones I have here are matte finishes. That is my favorite finish on a lip product, especially these. These are the best matte lipsticks. I'll go into that now. But I only have three of them with a glossy finish. When I had first ordered the original six that they sent me, three of them were glossy. And when I went to go buy the five more, I didn't buy any glossy finishes. I bought five more matte ones because I was so impressed with the matte ones that I had to go get some more matte ones. The glossy finishes are good, but they're not amazing. They're not my favorite glossy finish. You will see in the lip swatches when I show you. You have to really, really exfoliate your lips and moisturize your lips so that the glossy finishes look really pretty on your lips. When I first got them and I applied them, the glossy finishes, my lips were so chapped that day that when I looked in the mirror, I was like, these things are awful. I didn't like them at all. And I was like, oh no, these glossy finishes, not good. The mattes, even with my um, chapped lips, they went on pretty decently. But then a couple days later, my lips were in really good condition. I had moisturized, I had exfoliated, and then the glossy ones went on pretty smoothly. But if you are into a glossy finish, then you definitely will like these. The matte ones are just better, in my opinion. And the satin ones are really nice too. So the satin and matte ones are the ones that I'm going to recommend the most to you, but the glossy ones are still pretty. Now, with that being said, I do recommend you get the matching lip liner with all of these. I made the mistake of not buying the matching lip liner to the five that I bought, and then when it got home and I was putting them on, I was like, oh, I really wish I would have gotten the matching lip liner. It just makes it so much easier, and you get no bleeding, no feathering, and it's just really easy to apply because it's a lip liner. When dealing with the matte ones, even if you don't use a lip liner, I don't find that it feathers or it bleeds you know, I don't get it all over my face with the matte ones. So the matte ones don't really need a lip liner, but it's just so much easier to apply because eventually the, it has a little point at first, as you can see, but eventually it will just turn into like a round nubbin um, after using them really often. So I definitely recommend you getting the lip liner. And it's amazing because each individual lippy stick has their matching lip liner. For example, this one is called Leather. 
This is the lip liner in leather. It is a deep, deep purple. And then it has the matching lippy stick in leather. So they're the exact same color. They are, all their lip liners are pretty much the exact same color except for the more nude ones. Um, I have this one right here called Skimpy. Skimpy. And the matching Skimpy lip liner is different, but they go so well together. I think that they did this in a really smart way because when I apply the lippy stick and Skimpy all over my lips, it looks fine. It looks nice, but when I apply it with the Skimpy lip liner underneath, it just creates the most beautiful nude ever. The lip liner is a little bit darker, and I think that they did that on purpose so that it just it flows together. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. The, the combination of the lip liner and the lippy stick in Skimpy is amazing. The lip swatches that I'm going to be sharing with you today, I am not going to be showing you them combined with the lip liner just in case you don't want to buy the lip liner you just want to see how the lippy stick looks on its own I hope I'm not giving you too much information at once because I feel like I am okay so besides that I just these have a very like subtly sweet scent it's nothing that bothers me and it actually smells pretty good to be completely honest, and it's subtle to me. I don't really smell it very strong. Another great thing is that these are only $5 each. These lippy sticks are five bucks, and the lip liners are five bucks. So for $10, you get a lip liner and a lipstick, and that's an incredible deal. And if you spend over $30 on the ColourPop website, you get free shipping. So if you spend 30 bucks, you get free shipping and it's really 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 inexpensive I'm actually gonna go back on the website and get the matching lip liners for the five other ones that I bought so cheap I can't believe it because the quality is so good trust me you will thank me so the first one I'm gonna be talking about is this one right here and it is called skimpy it is a nice brown nude in the tube but on my lips it's just a little bit more of a pale pinky nude. This is a glossy finish and this is one of them that if your lips are chapped it will look horrendous on your lips. So I definitely recommend you use a lip liner underneath this one so that the product doesn't fall like in the crevices of your lips and it doesn't get into your lines that sometimes really glossy finishes can do. And I definitely recommend you exfoliate your lips and moisturize before you plan on wearing this. This is the color right here, and as you can see, you can't really see it on my skin. It kind of blends in with my skin, but with the lip liner underneath, it does look absolutely beautiful. This is the lip liner right here, and as you can see, they're com two completely different colors. This is the lip liner in Skimpy. They are two completely different colors, but they work so well together. Actually, let me swatch the lippy stick right on top of the lip liner so you can kind of get an idea of the color it transforms into. So this is what it looks like with the uh, lippy pencil underneath. As you can see it doesn't make it so pale anymore and it has that beautiful like beige undertone. This next one is called Bound and it is another glossy finish but because it isn't so pale it's a little bit more flattering. It looks darker in the tube than it comes off on the lips. As you can see it's definitely swatching a lot lighter. But this one is really, really pretty nonetheless, and I find that it complements so many different skin tones, and it looks really nice. It's a pink with a little bit of a mauve undertone. This next one is called Cake, and it is my last glossy one that I have to talk about. Wait, yes, this is the last glossy one I have. This one is intense. It is a light color, but it is a bright, bright, bright coral. Um, it's like so bright. Oh, and these are super pigmented. Let me show. Look how bright that is. Look how pigmented this is. Like, they are very pigmented. This one actually matches like the tube pretty well, I would say. It's so bright and <laughs> in your face, but I really, really like it. I think that for the spring and summer, this is gonna be a great one to reach for. This is the matching lip liner in Cake, and as you can see, it's pretty pretty identical I would say. This next one is called Fancy and it is a coral just like the last one but it is a lot darker. So it's a more wearable coral definitely I will say that. This is what it looks like right here. Like I said it's still a coral but it's much more wearable. It's not neon whatsoever um, but it's still nice and bright and beautiful. This is a satin finish. Very very creamy. Very creamy. That is one thing I will say that these products even the matte ones. I'm wearing a matte one right now and I feel the moisture in my lips. Okay, so this next one is my absolute favorite out of every single one, and it is the one I'm wearing right now, and it is called Click. It is a bright, 
bright red orange. I love these scarlet type of lips, the reds with the orange undertones. They are my favorite reds to wear, especially in the summertime and in the springtime. I just feel like it brings a little bit of spice to my life. I love the oranges in the reds. Why am I talking like this? This is a matte finish, but it is such a creamy, I don't know, can you tell? Such a creamy, creamy matte. Oh, I love it. This next one is called Bichette. Bichette. So if you wear this, you're a Bichette. It is a really, really pretty deep red shade, and it has a little bit of like a raspberry in there. Um, it's definitely a red, but instead of a brick red, it's a little bit of a deep like cherry red. Mm, does that make sense? I don't know. On the lips, on my lips at least, it looks more like a bricky red because my lips are pretty pigmented. But this is the color right here. It's a little bit lighter than what it looks like in the actual tube, as you can see. But I love this color. This is a matte finish. This bichette right here, I love it. By the way, the lasting power on this, I forgot to tell you guys that earlier. They last a really good time on the lips. The darker ones stain my lips almost. Like when I wipe it off, you still kind of see it. So the lasting power is actually really good. Okay, this next one right here is called I Heart This. And it is a really pretty raspberry pink. This is it right here. So, so gorgeous. If you are into these, you know, hot pinks without wanting to go like a neon hot pink, then this one is for you. It is really pretty. This is another matte finish. The rest of them are pretty much all matte. Oh, I have one more satin to share with you. But this is a matte finish, but it's so pretty. Even though it's matte, you can kind of see that it really, it's not completely matte. It's like a natural finish. Okay, so the next four are more purpley kind of shades. That's another negative I will say about this website is that since there are no pictures, they pretty much just have a picture of this like this. They don't really have swatches on the website at all. So it's so hard to pick your shade or which one you think would look good because there aren't swatches. There aren't arm swatches or lip swatches on the website. This next one is called Hard On. I know what you're thinking. What did you just say? Did you just say hard on? No, I didn't. I didn't. I said heart on. Heart, corazón, heart on. And I can't help but think that they did that on purpose because saying hard on definitely sounds like you're saying hard on. Heart on. Hard on. Very risque of this brand, let me tell you. <laughs> but this one is called Hard On. It's a matte and it is so beautiful. It is like a hot purple with a raspberry undertone as well. It is different from I Heart This. I Heart This is a little bit, is more pink. This one is more purple, but still like in that raspberry hot, hotness family. Does that make any sense? This next one is incredible. Also one of my favorites. It's a matte finish and it is called Grind. Wait till I show you this color. Oh, so beautiful. This one is loud, and for it being matte, this one is insanely creamy. Look at this. This is like straight up purple, but it is so pretty, like that deep, hot lavender. Oh my god, this looks so nice on the lips. At least I think so. A lot of people hate purple lipstick. I freaking love purple lipstick. I think it's amazing. This one is so fun. If you are into purple lipsticks, get it. This is the matching lippy pencil in Grind. And it is just that, but a super matte version of it. Oh look, exactly, this is a perfect example. This one is Grind, the lippy stick, and this is the lippy pencil. This one has kind of like a, she not a sheen, but like a natural finish to it, and this one is super matte, because it's a lip pencil. So you can see, can you see it? Can you see it? Okay, I have two more to share with you guys. This one is called Flawless, and it is a satin finish. And this is a purple with a cranberry like undertone, like it's very cranberry color. This one is creamier than the other ones because it is a satin finish. It's such a pretty like creamy like cranberry color, I don't know how to explain it. On me, for some reason, it looks a little bit darker than what it looks like swatched on my hand, but that's okay, I think it's still absolutely gorgeous. And then this one is called Leather. This is the last one I have to share with you and this one is a matte finish. This one can get really dark on the lips if you apply a bunch of layers. If you just dab it on your lips, you get, an, you get a really nice, soft color. But this one can get really, really dark. I just wanted to show you like the difference. 
This one is leather right here, and this one is flawless. As you can see, leather is a lot more purple, a lot more vampy. And let me take the other one off just to show you. So yeah, it's a lot more vampy. It's that deep purple that looks amazing during this time of year. It does. I'm sorry. I love the deep vampy purple. And I have the matching lippy pencil in leather, which is also even like a little bit darker than the lippy stick. Okay guys, so that is it. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this lip swatches and review and I hope I gave you enough information about this product because it is very new and not a lot of people have talked about it yet and I want to make sure you guys get like the full knowledge before you go out and buy it or not. I personally love them. I mean I bought five more the very next day. I think they're amazing. Great quality. So yeah, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!